9-11 in Fowler, a federal investigation is underway after an armed robbery at a local post office. It happened last night, a little before 6 o'clock in the evening. Investigators say the robber got away with a load of mail. This is the truck involved in a robbery Thursday evening. The driver of it, who is contracted to haul mail for the U.S. Postal Service, was reportedly held up at gunpoint as he picked up a load of Fowler's outgoing mail. Douglas County Sheriff's officers were called to the Yoncala Post Office yesterday evening after a report of a robbery just a short time before closing time. Not too many details are available yet. Deputies would not confirm if a weapon was used or what was stolen in the robbery, but the police log this morning indicated a male in a mask held up a clerk at gunpoint just before 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. Investigators are still trying to find more information on an unusual robbery at the post office in Malad. The, the Oneida County Sheriff's Office uh, says he took an unknown amount of cash before leaving on foot. New at 5 tonight, a Pflugerville mailman was held up at gunpoint. It happened around 2 o'clock along Sunflower Drive. The U.S. postal worker was a rural carrier. He was just about done for the day when two men walked up to him, pointed a gun at the worker, stole his car along with all of the mail inside. Residents on one street in Beaumont haven't received mail for almost a week. Officials with the post office say they suspended mail service last week after a letter carrier was assaulted. Latest on the investigation into a missing postal worker in San Jacinto County. Authorities now say that postal worker was killed while on her route and then burned in her vehicle. Uh, that's right. We're talking about a postal worker who was a veteran postal worker who died on the job. His family, of course, devastated, but angry as well. Delivering mail shouldn't be a dangerous job, but in some Chicago neighborhoods, postal carriers are finding themselves caught in the crossfire. Others have been the targets of brutal attacks and robberies. But U.S. postal inspectors and postal police say these days, dangers are worse, especially in some Chicago neighborhoods. Several mail trucks are broken into on the south side and packages stolen. Yeah, WGN's Robert Jordan is live at 83rd and Ashland with the details in this investigation. They seem to be following the letter carriers out on their routes and breaking into their vehicles as soon as they step away. We understand that they got two yesterday. Uh, we do, are getting information that there have been seven or more. With that many break-ins, postal officials are concerned that someone or some group has been following letter carriers out on their routes and waiting for a chance to rob them. Monday afternoon, letter carrier Edward Hosendove was delivering mail on the northwest side of Detroit. It's his usual route, but that day, things got rough and rowdy. It was just that fast. As soon as I started my truck up, uh, I looked over to my right. And Edward was staring right down the barrel of a gun. A guy had a rifle pointed at me. He told me, get out the truck. I automatically panicked. I put my hands up in the air. I told him, you can have everything you want. Please don't kill me. In Oakland County, the search is on right now for a gunman who held up a postal worker as he was making his rounds on Wednesday. The brazen bandit stole the mailman's wallet and his mailbag. In August, Gregory Johnson was robbed at gunpoint while delivering the mail. Nearly a month later, he was told he no longer had a job. In August, someone robbed Johnson at gunpoint in the 300 block of Chapin in South Toledo. Police say the suspect stole money, demanded Johnson's work shirt and keys to his postal truck. That thief then took off with the truck. Authorities in Tennessee say a robbery may have led to the fatal shooting of two female postal workers. Police say they're looking for a pair of suspected gunmen. They say the two men are driving a maroon Chevrolet Malibu. It all happened Monday morning in Henning, Tennessee. Authorities say an unidentified mail carrier was approached by a suspect who demanded money. Moments later, he shot the carrier and fled the scene. The letter carrier who was shot said to be in Baptist Memorial Golden Triangle Hospital in critical condition. They're looking for any clue that could help them find out what happened when a delivery driver was robbed and shot here on Thursday night. It happened around 5.30 when postal officials say someone shot the driver twice before making off with post office property. Joining us for the second time in eight days, thieves have robbed a U.S. postal carrier in Tampa. Our Eric Waxler is live in Tampa with a look at why these carriers have suddenly become targets. Eric? Wendy, delivering the mail is not supposed to be a dangerous job, but I talked to one of the mailmen who works out of this branch in the Sulphur Springs neighborhood of Tampa. He said he's actually considering a career change. That after one of his coworkers had a gun pointed at his head. 
An all-out manhunt is now underway to find the person who shot and killed a postal worker during the middle of his delivery Monday afternoon. Today, Local 10's Tan Tongan talked with those who knew Bruce Parton better than anyone. It's very sad. It's just horrible. Especially someone like him. He was so caring and so sweet and friends with everybody. And he would give you the shirt off his back. A terrifying day on the job today for a South Florida postal worker. The woman was robbed at gunpoint in North Miami. And this is not the first time this has happened. That's where we find CBS 4's Peter Dench live. And Peter, this is apparently the third attack in 10 days. What's going on? That's right, Cynthia. And for the third time, a female carrier has been targeted and her master key has been stolen. We've got some new details tonight in the attack on a postal carrier, North Miami. A reward of up to $25,000 is being offered tonight. And we're also seeing new surveillance tape of two suspects from the day after Christmas attack. CBS 4's Peter Dench reports this follows a series of attacks on postal carriers. More than a half dozen carriers have been attacked in the North Miami area in the past two years, most for mailbox master keys. That was the case with veteran carrier Bruce Parton. This Hialeah carrier was smashed in the head with a pistol. The attacks trouble those delivering our mail. It could be happen to me. And I, I just pray to God that get me from, uh, to go home to my wife. And two teenagers under arrest accused of attacking a postal worker in Riviera Beach yesterday. Both suspects 15 years old were told tonight facing attempted robbery and battery charges. A $5,000 reward is being offered for information after a letter carrier was hit with a gun when he refused to hand over his wallet and cell phone. Right now at 5, a big break in the search for a robber who terrorized a mailman while wearing a mask from a horror movie. Tonight, a teenager is under arrest for a mail carrier holdup. The news tonight, the manhunt is on for the gunman who robbed and shot a post office worker in DeKalb County. And that's not the only thing they're searching for in this case. The robbers also stole a postal truck as well. So four days before Christmas, letters, packages could all be missing as well. That area at the backside of the Conley post office is supposed to be secure. Yet last night, someone got in there and attacked a postal worker. Behind the barbed wire fence and the sign that warns against unauthorized vehicles, the driver had his truck parked near this loading dock and would probably have been out of sight to anyone looking at the front of the Conley Post Office. Little did that driver know he had just pulled into an ambush. Right now we just have him listed in um, critical condition. Postal inspectors believe at least one gunman surprised the driver, robbed him and then shot him. The shooter then took off in the driver's truck. Here's a picture of that 24 to 26 foot box truck. The postal worker laid in the parking lot for as long as a half hour before someone found him. We are also following a developing story in Atlanta. Someone robbed a mailman at gunpoint while he was delivering mail in northwest Atlanta. We're back this midday with breaking news from Chesapeake. About 10 o'clock this morning, a man came into the post office. He said that he was trying to rob the place. He demanded money. He told the workers, give me the money. The man said, well, I have this package and it's a bomb. Tonight, a mailman shot on the job in Boston. The gunman hopped into the mail truck for his getaway. Right now, there's a manhunt to find the person who pulled the trigger. A mail truck sits abandoned on Carmela Lane off Bailey Street in Dorchester. Boston police are looking for the man who shot and tried to rob the letter carrier who was driving it. Police say it was around 7 o'clock when the suspect jumped into the back of the truck where the letter carrier was sorting packages. The two got into a scuffle and the suspect shot the postal worker in the wrist. Saturday's holdup at the Thorndike Post Office, Poli Palmer Police Chief Robert Frederick told 22 News police arrested Granaski at his home on Pleasant Street. Granaski is accused of threatening the woman who was working at the post office with a knife and stealing money from the post office. Some other news now out of Yonkers, where the search is on for an armed robber who broke into the main post office. It happened just after closing at the downtown post office on South Broadway. News 12's Carol Wilkinson reports. Yonkers police and Postal Service investigators gather at the South Station Post Office on South Broadway, looking for clues into the armed robbery that happened here at around 5.30 Monday evening. Police say that's when a man, armed with a gun, robbed someone at the post office after business hours. Mail carrier attacked and robbed on the job. It happened in Hempstead last night, a little after 7 o'clock. Police say the mailman was near Booth Street and Long Beach Road when two men, dressed all in black, came up from behind. They grabbed his mailbag, 
took the carrier's personal items and then took off. Tonight, federal agents are hunting for three gunmen robbing mail carriers. Agents are hoping a $50,000 reward will lead to a tip and arrest. NBC 10's Denise Nakano started out covering today's mail carrier holdup, but quickly uncovered the rash of robberies. A U.S. Postal Inspector confirms with me tonight that three mail carriers were targeted in just a little more than a week for the packages and letters they were carrying. The latest happening in North Philadelphia when a mail carrier was about to deliver a package. Well, sources tell me that the mail carrier was walking along North 19th Street near Cumberland when two men with masks came at him with a gun. They demanded the mail bag he was carrying, which contained letters and a few packages. Police there are looking for two armed men who jumped the counter and robbed a post office along the 8200 block of Germantown Avenue. All of a sudden I heard screaming and I looked up and I thought, my goodness, the girl must have had a mouse or something. But it was no mouse. It was two men armed, jumping the counter and demanding money at this Chestnut Hill post office just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. A 26-year-old postal worker gunned down while delivering mail. Prince George's County Police are asking for help in identifying suspects. They're offering a $25,000 reward. And get this, the U.S. Postal Service is putting up another $100,000 for good information. 26-year-old Tyson Barnett was shot and killed on his assigned delivery route Saturday night in Landover. Well, I knew they were gunshots because I know what gunshots sound like. So I got up and I started running. It would be the rarest of occasion where we're not carrying in the dark. Kenneth Lurch is president of the Rockville branch of the National Association of Letter Carriers. He didn't represent Barnett or the area where he was killed, but he has been the loudest voice in trying to get postal workers off the streets before it gets dark. I'm outraged. It's more than angry. It didn't have to happen. And I told them what the problems were and they chose to ignore it. He's been outspoken about the dangers of delivering at night for years and brought it up again just last week in a meeting with the postmaster. Last year with the district manager, he made a grim prediction. I said something, somebody was going to get seriously injured or worse, or worse, and that, and that happened. Union members say the routes are longer, they're understaffed, and they say after this tragedy, something must change. It's bound to happen again if something's not done about it. It's inherently unsafe to carry mail in the dark. I have been out at 10 o'clock at night. I have co-workers that have been out to 12 midnight. It gets dark at 5, 7 o'clock. It's pitch dark out here. Nobody should be out here delivering mail. And many of them were very upset. They say that they have been complaining for some time about their job being dangerous, having to deliver mail here in the dark, and they're hoping this tragedy will bring about change. We have to lose a letter courier like that. We are out here working hard and have to be out here unsafe. It could have been me. And we have had couriers robbed in Landover before. We've been asked to come in early to get us off these streets early because it's dangerous. The victim's co-workers are sad and angry. They hope this death will bring about change to make their jobs safer. The post office won't bring us in earlier, and it's no concern for the courier. It's all about the mail. Safety. Post office die can about us. That's what's going through my mind. Mail carriers have to leave their vehicles at times, and Alexandria police say the victim had done just that when three men wearing masks came up and robbed him at gunpoint. NALC members, holler out your branch! The announcement of the $25,000 reward comes just after letter carriers protested in D.C. Monday calling for an end to mail delivery after dark. They were galvanized by mail carrier Tyson Barnett, who was murdered in November in Chevrolet, Maryland. To show you where this happened, that is a post office and the robbery happened less than a block away as the mailman was delivering mail here on this section of North Fayette Street.